Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. How are you all doing? It's your dear beloved sister Janice here again. Long time. I'm so busy at work. I go to work very early in the morning and I came in very late at night. And when I came in, I'm so tired. But how are you all doing? I'm here now. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is in me, bless his holy name. How are you doing? Come on, let's talk about Jesus. I'm here again just to encourage somebody about the love of Jesus Christ. And just to encourage somebody that it doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter the situation. Jesus love you. Jesus care for you. And he will take care of what you are going through. Just put your trust in God. Put your trust in the man with the plan. He never fail. He never fail. Jesus never fail this evening. So it doesn't matter what you are going through. Just put your trust in God. So I'm here with my Bible again. And I'm um, just going to read a scripture from Psalms 1. So why don't you grab your Bible and come on, let's read the word of God and be encouraged this evening in the word of God. You know, the Bible said in Ecclesiastic 3, it says time for everything under the sun. You know, a time to laugh, a time to cry. You know, a time to love a time to be upset, a time for peace, a time for war. You understand? So we come now, a time for the word of God tonight. Yeah, it's night now, so it's night. Time for everything under the sun. So I'm going to read from Psalms 1 this evening. So why don't you grab your Bible and come along. Let's read together. I love you, my friends. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all, my dear beloved sister and brother, boys and girls. It's Sister Janice here again, and I'm going to read from Psalms 1. So get your Bible and let's read together the Word of God. But you know, I always like to sing my little song, even though I'm not a very good singer. And I know you're really happy with me singing, so let's sing. I want to sing this song. It says, um... In time like this, we need a Savior. In time like this, we need an anchor. Be very sure, hallelujah. Be very sure, your anchor's home. And grieve the solid rock. Come on. In time like this, hallelujah, we need a Savior. In time like this, we need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure your anchor's hold and grieve the solid rock. The rock is Jesus. He's the one. The rock is Jesus. The only one, be very sure, be very sure, my brother and sister, be very sure, your anchor's hold, and grip the solid rock, be very sure. Be very sure your anchor's hold and grip the solid rock. Your anchor's hold and grip the solid. Hallelujah. 
Let's give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In times like this, we need a savior. In time like this, we need an anchor. Be very sure. Be very sure. Your anchors hold and grip the solid rock. Who is the solid rock this evening? I'm talking about the rock of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about this rock, the savior of the world. I'm talking about the rock our Father, our faithful King of all kings, this evening, a God that will never fail us, a God that will protect us in every circumstances. That's the solid rock I'm talking about this evening. The solid rock that put you to bed at night and wake you in the morning. The solid rock while you're breathing and hearing and seeing at this moment. That's the solid rock I'm talking about. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's pray, my dear beloved brothers and sisters. Just say a few words to God. Father, we love you, we worship you, and we adore you. We thank you this evening for you are the solid rock. Father, we pray this evening that you will help us, oh God, for anchor to be holding you, God, and grip the solid rock this evening. Father God, we come before you, Lord God. We are just nothing before you this evening, God. You are the potter this evening, and we are the clay this evening, God. But we come at your mercy seat, Lord God. God, and we are knocking at heaven's door this evening, God. And we are asking you this evening, Lord, for your mercy. We are asking you this evening, God, to deliver us, oh God, from all evil. We are asking you this evening, oh God, to cover us and to protect us in your blood and with your blood this evening. We are asking you, Lord, to dispatch your angels this evening over us, to keep us in all our ways, to keep our family to protect our going out and our coming in, to protect our home and our loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. We appreciate you this evening. Lord, there's none like you. You are God and God alone. You are holy. You are righteous. And because of who you are this evening, God, we give praises unto your name. We give glory and honor unto your name this evening. King of all kings. We bless your name this evening, Lord. And we say thank you. Father, I place my dear beloved in your hands this evening, God. I pray this evening, Lord, that you will touch them from the deepest part of their soul. Lord God, in every circumstances, Lord God, you will let them know that they are not alone. There is a father who cares this evening. There is a father who cares in everything and in every circumstances. Oh God, we put you first. Help us, Lord God, to acknowledge you in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Bless the Lord, my dear beloved. Bless the Lord. The Lord is so sweet. Oh, so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to believe him at his word this evening. It's a beautiful thing to give thanks unto the Lord. It is good to give thanks unto the Lord because God is our only source. He's the source of our survival. He's the reason for living. Every minute of the day, we should have Jesus. Every minute of the day, give me Jesus. I love him. They call me at work, um, Mama Hallelujah. That's what they call me because it's everything I give thanks. I learn. I'm trying to give thanks and to be grateful for God in my life. In Jesus' name. Bless you all. Let's go and read Psalms 1 together and enjoy the rest of the evening. My dear beloved, bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. You hear that, my dear beloved? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. We don't want to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. We want to stay under the banner, the bloodstained banner of Christ. Hallelujah. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law do it we meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree 
planted by the rivers of water, praise God, that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. So you see, when we praise God, we leaf shall never wither. When you praise God, you shall never wither. God say he's going to give us life and life eternal. The Bible says we are going to a city. The songwriter says we're going to a city where moonlight ever shine. Yes, we never grow old. Never grow old. Never grow old. We never grow old when we live for God and have God in our life. Hallelujah. He shall also, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. You hear that? The ungodly are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. When the wind blow away something, you can never find it. It gone, 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 gone. Just imagine a feather and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, the, the wind blow it away. Just imagine a leaf. It blow off the tree and the wind blow it away. Just imagine you have a 10 pound note and the wind come and blow it away. Maybe somebody else will find it where it drop. But if it blow out your hand and it really gone, you never find it back. Yes, so that's the ungodly this evening I'm talking about. Yes, hallelujah. The ungodly are not so, but they are like the chaff which the wind drive it away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. That means whatever you do, if you're in your house right now and you're cooking, the Lord know. If, if you're in your bathroom having a shower, the Lord know. If you're going to go on the road to buy a bread, the Lord know. The Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. We don't want to be on the ungodly side this evening, my dear beloved brother and sister. We want to stay with God. There's a song that says, stay with God. We want to stay with God this evening. Because Jesus Christ is surely coming again. He's surely coming again, my dear beloved brother and sister. Take my word for it. He's coming again. Last night, I was just meditating on God. On God, I'm telling you. And this, the, the, the Lord was just speaking to my spirit. And I tell you what a day that will be. What a day that will be when we see our Savior. I pray that I will see him. I will caught up with him. And I pray also that you will see him. You will caught up with him, my dear beloved. You understand? The Bible said it's appointed unto man wants to die. And there come the judgment. So there's a judgment coming. There's a judgment coming. Whether you die or you live, there's a judgment coming. And God says he's going to pay every man according to the work that we do. So let's live for Jesus and let's do good. Love our brother and our sister. Don't criticize. Don't backbite. Don't envy. Don't malice. Don't covetousness. But love. Have love. You know what? Such love. Sometime I go back and I say, say the same songs again. But they mean so much to me. And I just hope that it will mean a lot to you. The words that I'm speaking, it's not mine. It's the word of God. The song says, such love. Such wondrous love. Such love. Such wondrous love. That God could have loved a sinner such as I. How wonderful is love like this. How wonderful is the love of God. When you know you have Christ Jesus live inside of you and live with you. How wonderful is the love of God. My dear beloved, this is my few words to you. May the Lord bless and keep you throughout the rest of the evening. May the Lord keep you safe throughout the night. Until we meet again tomorrow is a new day. We give thanks in advance unto the Lord.
May the Lord bless and keep you, protect you and guide you. May the God of Psalms 91 dispatches his angels around you. In Jesus' name I pray. Shalom. Peace. Be blessed. Sister Janice.